Hey guys, what's going on? And today we are doing another video on the train layout. We've made some updates, or my dad has made some updates on what we've been doing. We're still doing the same concept of what we've been doing, trying to think of before. But we had to make some adjust. We had to make some adjustments right here around the turn because it was a little bit too sharp. I'm pretty sure that's why my dad made it like that because it would always like stop like somewhere somewhere around the track it would like stop and it'd stop making electricity go through the track and it would stop the train like the train like in the middle of the tracks and then and then we got frustrated because it started doing it all it started going all over like all over the track and then like when we started soldering it focus Okay, but you can see we soldered it, and uh, it started derailing in some spots, so we had to make some adjustments. There was, there was one of these, I'm pretty sure, like right here, right around here. So my dad, what he did is he pulled up the track, as you can see where the cork is right here. If I move the hammer, the cork was right around here. Where you see the cork was torn. So he pulled up the track, pulled up the cork, some of it, some of it didn't come off. So we just left it there. So, and then he made adjustments with the bridge right over here. He hasn't, he hasn't nailed it down, as you can see, he kind of still moves. But he put some more new cork down. Well, he cut it off right here, now that I'm realizing that. He cut it off right here, and then he made, he put some new cork around, and then he cut it so it would go around the old cork, and then he just fit the track onto that, and now it just goes around. Like, this cork right here, he hasn't glued down, or we haven't glued down. No oh, fudge. Okay. Never know, works too. And then he hasn't nailed down the tracks either. So some parts still move. Like right here and all over here. So we're trying to get this done. Like with our other stuff in our life. We're trying to get this done too. But this is not on our top, top priority. So I will be trying to make some more adjustments if my dad will let me. Do some more stuff. Like nail the track down get all the cork in line and all that so that's basically what we've been doing so far and then I don't know what else he's been doing I don't know I don't know why he has the hammer here he's been doing a lot of stuff with all this he has a hammer Yeah, so we pulled pulled the bridge up all the way from here. And yeah, so it's just this part of the layout. Like you can see how big the layout is from like back here. You can see all that. And it's just that part of the layout that he's been um Yeah, that he fixed because it wasn't working very well. And some of our trains are like they have the, they have the three wheels that are up there and they don't go around the corners very well they kind of just they kind of just derail because the corners are too sharp because their third wheel that well they're the wheel in the middle it kind of just like goes around the corner and then it like pops off and then it starts to make the whole train go off and all the carts behind it then we've been testing that and all that so this is yeah and then so currently this is our power thing got the throttle control like normal on off i have no clue what that is i don't know if i've already reviewed this in a different video got the sound uh brake momentum direction the selection switch, like the diesel and the steam. I honestly, I, I think I like the steam more. I don't know why. 
but then you got the volume, rate adjustments, power monitor, um, and then yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Then back here you got all the power socket things, I don't know what they're called, go into there, then you got the train, that we just have sitting there for no particular reason. And then we have all this junk letting, laying around from where you've been. Trying to fix everything. Hot glue gun, hammer, uh, Dremel tool, soldering thing, knife, pliers, I think. I don't know. I don't know what anything is called. And then you got all this stuff for the... You got a lot of tracks, but some of these... Let me see if I can find an example. But you probably can't see it very well. But on this track right here, it's really dusty. There you go. Like you can see it's kind of like dusty and all that. And it like kind of cuts off the power, which is what we're trying to fix. We're trying to get some new track on there. Focus. Like new track on there. And then we have some buildings up there and all that. Trees. Uh, power duster. Okay. What's that? Something like Japanese. <laughs> some language I don't know. But then we got some more tracks. Right here. Flex track. We have a lot of flex track because we don't want to buy, like, separate tracks that we have to keep putting down. And then we got all these boxes laying around, like, under the table. There's stuff. And then we're going to have to do a lot of work to finish this whole thing. Because we're going to have all this grass and stuff. Maybe a little river or something. And then, okay, what we've been planning is that, like, above this whole entire thing, we're going to have, like, an N scale or O scale or N scale, I think. Well, whatever is smaller than the HO scale. We're going to have it, like, above the HL scale, like little poles or whatever that like make it go up. And then we're gonna do that. We won't ha really have any scenery for that because I don't know how we do any scenery. scenery. So yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> and then we put new furnace system in that goes like up there and all that. And then my dad has all his stuff. This is, this looks like a wood, woody styrofoam. It's like a yellow styrofoam. Or, sponge. I'm so dumb. And then, you have, I have no clue what this is. Just laying around. And then you got the stuff for the siren. Pin motor and coarse solder. So, this looks like solder. I think it's solder. Um... Melting point, 361 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, so we haven't really used that much. So you can tell we've used some. It's like... Just even... I mean, it's plugged in. Okay, it's off, though. Off. Yeah, I was afraid it was going to burn me. Oh, yeah. So, that's basically it for the another review on the layout. Wasn't very much to talk about this time, but I'll put a card up there. I don't know. There's somewhere like that. About all the, my other train layout videos. Yeah, so my tr I've been trying to make more train layout videos because they are my most viewed videos on the channel, and I am very happy about all the views and support I've been getting on these layout videos. I will be trying to make some more layout videos once we get this like updated some more, because you guys really like the layout videos I've been doing. 
because, I mean, I've been wanting to do model railroading for, like, ever. And my dad finally agreed to do it. But we were working on it a lot more before. So now we're not working on it some more very much. But I will put a link to my other two videos. Yeah, okay, never mind. But I will put a link to my other two videos in the car in the cards se card section, bro. I can't talk. And then yeah. Okay, that that is the end of my video and my layout video. And I hope you guys really enjoyed. Make sure to hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. And hit that notification bell to make sure you get all notifications. So you'll be updated on all of my videos that I will be recording on my layout videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next bit. Peace out.